Hi and welcome to this video. I wanted to discuss with you the ability to set a control point on the creation of leads, prospects, customers, maybe even items and vendors on NetSuite. And of course, if you go to setup, accounting and accounting preferences, you will see here on the approval, approval routing subtab that yes, you can set approval routings from NetSuite on these different transactions but not on items, customers, leads, prospects, or vendors. So if there is a verification that needs to happen, I know this is often the case when you're working in the finance industry, uh, you're not supposed to be creating or entering a customer that uh, you're going to be transacting with until uh, the customer has been cleared. Uh, by, by the, let's say, the control team within your company. So a way to do this is uh, first to understand what you're going to be basing yourself on to make the customer uh, not appear on any sales transaction. It could be, for example, the form that you're using when you're trying to create the customer. Uh, of course, every uh, customer uses a form to, to, to be created. And uh, if you click on customize form here, uh, you will be able to see uh, the name of that form. The form being used on this instance, for example, is called primary customer form. Okay, so every time I'm going to create a customer, this is the form that's going to be used. Now, maybe there are other forms for different users within my organization where they will see more or maybe less fields where they'll be able to, let's say, approve something or add certain information to fields I'm not seeing. Because when you create fields and apply them to forms, you can decide to which role, which person, or which form you're actually applying these fields to. Now, uh, a way to make the customer not appear on any sales transaction until it's been approved is on the customer record, on the system information, ensure that the inactive is ticked. Now this is tricky because when you are entering leads, prospects, customers, vendors, you don't want to be going down to system information and clicking on inactive. And even if you put the inactive all the way up, anyone could come in there and just make it active easily. Now the way to prevent this is to create a workflow that will, let's say, base itself on this primary customer form and say anyone creating leads, prospects or customers using this form uh, is going to have this field inactive ticked as a default and they will not be able to change this manually. Now to do this, uh, we're going to be using a workflow. So the workflow, uh, you can set them up by going to customization, workflow, workflow new. And here you see I gave this workflow a name. I said that it was only based on customers, but on the three types, you know, three stages of the customer, the lead, the prospect, and the customer itself. Uh, I said that it was only on creation, not on view or update. Okay, so I could actually have set it to update to uh, if I want to keep this um, field uh, inactive locked, but for the time being, I just created it on create. Now on the workflow itself, I added a condition so that the workflow only works when the user's form, uh, when they create the customer, is primary customer form, which is the form that I am using. Okay, so if someone is creating a lead, a prospect, or a customer using this form, then the inactive button is going to be uh, ticked, which means that they will be able to enter the, the information on the customer, but they will not be able to see that customer until it's been made active. Now, uh, let's have a look at the state within the workflow. So the state says, I've made the field inactive true. Okay, but I did not prevent the user from modifying this. So I'm going to have to create a second action. I'm going to have to set the uh, field display type. Okay, and it's going to still to be uh, is inactive. So with the disabled, they will be able to see that it's not active, but they won't be able to change it. They're not going to be able to change its value.
Okay, so I'm going to save this. I don't need to put a condition here because the condition is already on the workflow and I'm clicking on save. Okay, so anytime I'm, you, I'm creating a new lead customer or prospect with that form, uh, the inactive will be true and I won't be able to change the field. So that's the first step. The second step will be to set an approval workflow. Someone maybe with another role or another form will be able to see a button that will be called approve or activate customer, for example, once they've gone through all their uh, controls. I'm not going to go through this right now because I, we already created a video that uh, showcases exactly this. So link in the description. I'll let you have a look at it. But of course, if you found this video useful and you are going to be using it, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.